Hello and welcome back friends. My name is Cory Yoder of Coriander Quilts. Today I have a chattier video planned. I realized that I hadn't talked works in progress for quite a while. It's actually been longer than I thought that it had been because when I went back to look at when my last works in progress video was, it looks like it very well may have been January of this year. I thought for sure it was going to be this summer. I don't know, maybe August or so and then my fall got busy and I couldn't post an update but apparently it's been a little bit longer than I thought and I think maybe my works haven't been progressing as much as I thought well no I take that back I knew they weren't progressing I just hadn't realized how long they weren't progressing <laughs> so if you're in the same boat rest assured you're in good company I'm going to share with you kind of where I'm at with some of my different projects what my plans are in the upcoming week I do have some things I want to get accomplished in the next week and ooh, and then something fun that I want to show you that I would love to get a chance to work on I think some of you will be excited about that and then we're going to wrap things up with a giveaway at the end. So make sure and watch to the end so you can get some details about that giveaway. Now, before I start on all of that fun, I do want to chat just a little bit about my sweatshirt. Sometimes I talk about the sweatshirts that I am wearing. And this one, I get to brag about my 15-year-old daughter, Eleni, because she's the one who drew this little sewing machine design up for us. Now, my daughter, Eleni, is a very good artist. I'm always especially impressed with her sketches and drawings of people. She's very good at drawing people much more so than I think I could ever be. She's just very talented about that. But she came to me a couple weeks ago with this little sewing, ma sewing machine sketch and I thought, ah, that would be such a great design on a sweatshirt. And so we have added this sweatshirt over in my Coriander Quilts merch shop. It's available in this green color, which is one of my favorite colors to wear. I love wearing this color. And then she wanted a black one for herself. So we have it in those two colors available right now. So I've got that linked down below. And I think it's such a cute little way to show that you love sewing. Anyway, so that's the sweatshirt information. A little brag about my daughter, Elle. She, I think she did such a great job. And now we will move into this video. First up, I'm gonna talk about some blocks in progress. You see my scrappy Irish chain blocks peeking out down below there. They actually haven't been worked on recently, but I don't recall when the last time was that I shared those. I have been sharing the scrappy block tutorials when I've been releasing those, but I haven't shared these blocks that much. So we'll flip through those. I'm gonna talk about these Moda Blockheads blocks. I've got some quilt tops. So let's just take a peek. I'm sure that many of you have been participating in the Moda Blockheads quilt along for this round. The first round wrapped up right before December and now the second round of these blocks is going to kick off again in January. So these are the blocks that I made for my first round. I'm still not entirely sure how I am planning to set these blocks. I did all of these six inch size. I think I might do maybe one of my Barn Star quilts for the center. So that'd be like a 36 inch center and then maybe just border out with some of these smaller blocks. That's kind of what I'm thinking right now. Once I have my plan, I will let you all know and post information about that over on my blog in case someone else wants to set their blocks the same way. So once, once I decide, sometimes I'm bad about deciding what I want to do. I just start sewing and Oh, things kind of tend to work out and a plan gets made as I work. That's what I'm thinking right now. I know sometimes too at this stage in the game I'll have a plan and by the time I get to the end of making my blocks that plan has completely changed. So that's also a possibility. Sometimes it's fun to sew without a lot of structure and sometimes it's fun to sew with a lot. It just depends on which way you want to approach your project. The fabrics that I'm using are a mix of Peachy Keen fabrics mixed with Blueberry Delight fabrics. So Peachy Keen are my fabrics. Those are all Peachy Keen there. And then Blueberry Delight is a fabric line by Ann Sutton. That center print there is one of my favorites from that Blueberry Delight fabric line. I think it's just delightful. So those are those blocks. I will continue working on those once we get into January. 
Next up, Irish chain blocks. I have one B block done and I have decided that I am for sure only going to do my quilt three across by three down. So I will need five of the A blocks, four of those B blocks. If you have been sewing along with the Scrappy Irish Chain Scrap Along, you know what I'm talking about. If not, I will link to that Scrap Along in the description box below so you can join in, maybe bust some of your scraps yourself. But that's my B block right there. And then the rest are all A's. So I would be done with the A's and we'll just need to make what did I say? Four total, make three more B blocks. So this project would be done soon if I just get my behind in gear and get those sewn together. I know some of you are done. Some of you are still plugging away. Some of you are doing the big quilt. If you make it the way the pattern calls for, it's a big quilt. So I've decided to downsize this a little bit. I won't be busting quite as many scraps, but I will have a finished quilt faster. <laughs> so, Sometimes it's an either or situation and I am opting this time to finish these up sooner rather than later. And then I might have to decide what to do with all of my two and a half inch squares that I've cut. They do work beautifully for those scrappy block tutorials, those free, free blocks that I've been releasing. They work great for those so I can just hang on to them and use them in those projects. Luckily, two and a half inch squares get used pretty frequently around here. So I'm sure I can put those to good use even if I don't use as many of them as I had planned for this project. So that's those blocks. All right, let's move on to some completed quilt tops. Now these are quilt tops that I want to get out in the mail this week. Actually, by the time you're watching this video, hopefully I have sent them already. We film our videos the Saturday prior to when we release them. So, um, Hopefully by the time you're watching this video, I will have all of these quilt tops already mailed out. Ask me in the comments if I've mailed them out and knowing that you're going to be asking me that will hopefully mean that I can answer yes by the time you're seeing this video because I really do want to get these out this week. So these are quilt tops that I have had completed, some of them for longer than others. You may be surprised to see one of them that's in this pile. <laughs> so um, some of them have been here for a while and some of them are newer finishes, but all of these I want to send off to my long armor and have them completed. This one was one that I shared as part of that um, charity, group that I was donating quilt tops to, finished quilts to. This is just a quick 10 inch square quilt. These are fabrics by Sherry and Chelsea. So it just needs finished. This one I finished up earlier this year, this past spring, um, along with the next two I'm going to show you. Um, yes, these next two. These have been, been done for a while and I've been getting asked about this project here and there. If you remember, I did a surprise Moda unboxing package also back in the spring. And during that video, I made two quilt tops and my plan is to, this is still my plan. This is the thing that I have not shared yet, but my plan is to share either a block tutorial or a complete quilt tutorial for these quilt tops. And I do still want to do that for all of you. I know you've been asking, some of you have been asking, I just haven't gotten the chance to do that. But these were quilt tops that I designed using some of the supplies in that Moda mystery box. I'll link to that video below because that was kind of a fun one. I got to test out some different products and had some different fabrics to work with. So this was one quilt top. And then using this same pattern, I designed a second quilt top. I mean, it's the same pattern. It's just reversal of the fabrics. You'll see what I mean here if you haven't seen this already. So in this one, the darks are in the background and then you have the low volumes just in the frame. Whereas the other version had the low volumes for the background and then that dark red for that frame. So hopefully I'll get this done soon. I still do plan to release that video. Just haven't had a chance to write that pattern. 
Whenever I write up patterns and tutorials for you guys, I always wanna make sure that I take my time and have those put together well so that you don't run into any problems with them or, or get frustrated following any of my instructions. So sometimes it does take me a little bit longer to get those sorts of things put together for you. But it's coming, just <laughs> not as fast as I thought that it might. Okay, this next one is the one you might be surprised sitting here on my still needs to be quilted pile, but this is my Oh Happy Day sampler quilt that we finished last year in 2022. And it still needs to be quilted, which is the top. Let me get this guy, here we go. This still needs to be quilted. I'll link to the videos for this one too. This was a fun sew along that used my Oh Happy Day book. And we made this fun sampler using the blocks from that book and it needs quilted. I know I got messages from some of you asking, how are you quilting your quilt? Well, I would like to be able to share that information with you. I'm actually not sure. I have some different quilting designs that I have saved that are new that we haven't used yet on any of my quilts at least. And so I might choose something new or I might just go with something I've used already. I'm not sure. There are a lot of really cute ones that I keep seeing popping up that would be fun to try. And when I have so many different quilt tops that I'm sending, sometimes it's a lot of fun just to try out a bunch of different things. Sometimes you hit something really good and it'll be something I'll use again. And sometimes I might think, oh, I could have made a better choice than that. But it's still fun to try out different quilting designs. So that one needs to go out to David. I'm gonna send all of these to David. David, if you are watching this video, you may hopefully already have these quilt tops or you will have them shortly. But that one will be on the way. And then you saw this next one not too long ago. This is the Sun Washed Sunny Patches block of the month that we just wrapped up um, did we finish this in September? I think was when we finished this sew along. So you've seen the version in Beautiful Day. I finished this one first. I finished this one, I think probably last year because I tested out all of my patterns before the quilt along ever even started. So this one has been done for a little bit longer. The blocks have been done. I don't think I sewed the whole quilt top together quite as quickly, but the blocks were done for quite a while. But I did just finish the sun washed version. Sun washed, I sewed up right along as I was releasing the videos. So I was sewing that one along with all of you and I did not get those blocks all sewn together in that last video because I showed this one on the video. So after that was shared, I had to go back and sew up my sun washed version, which is right here. So I think this one turned out so pretty. These are sun washed fabrics. These are in quilt shops right now. Same quilt pattern as what you just saw for Beautiful Day. And again, I'll link to these videos down below. If you're new here, you might not be familiar with this sew along, but this one just happened this year. Those block patterns are all still available that you could make one up yourself if you wanted to. It's a fairly fast quilt to piece uses a jelly roll plus a bit of yardage. It's just a really fun one. Then the last two quilt tops, I'm only gonna show you the teensiest of teensy sneak peeks. I'm not going to open these up because these two are for quilt patterns that are coming out very soon, but I can't chat too much about them quite yet. So this little fun guy uses coriander seeds, background fabric, and then some of those really pretty eyelet fabrics by Joanna of Fig Tree. Um, those are so fun. I really like the colors. You can see one of the other colors here. I really like the colors in those fabrics, and I especially like it mixed with the coriander seeds, white on white. And then over here, you might be able to get a little bit of an idea of what this is, um, but this quilt uses peachy keen, and then I also used coriander seeds for the background fabric over here. So these two are also headed off with my other pile of quilt top goodies to get turned into completed quilts. So um, ideally, 
mm, I don't know if these will be done all the way before January 1st. We might get into January, I'm not sure, but they're going to be ready pretty quickly. And then I can check all of these off as completed works in progress, which is always a good feeling. That's quite a few. I didn't even count them. So that's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight, <laughs> eight completed projects, hopefully not too far into the new year. Okay, let's move these to the side. Next, I want to talk about that project that I said I was excited to chat with you about. So I've got a big box here. First of all, before I start chatting too much, you need to remember my hymn quilt that I shared here probably last year. I don't know, I chatted about this in a few different videos, but some of you will remember my hymn quilt. Some of you are new to this channel, new to this project and have no idea what this quilt is. So I'll also link to this project below so that if it catches your fancy, you can take a closer look at it. Um, but this was a quilt that was in the works for many years and I finally finished it. And it's really one of my favorite quilts. So these are all, the centers of these blocks are all tea towels that I collected from Stephanie of Fancy That Design House. Now you might be familiar with her because she now designs for Moda Fabrics and she makes really cute panels using some of these different designs. When I was collecting these, she was not a Moda designer at that time and so she would put new tea towels in her shop and I would spot one and I was buying them one at a time when I saw one that just caught my eye or if it was one that I didn't have and it was just so much fun to collect them for so many years, probably, I don't know, three, four, five years. I mean, it was a number of years that I was collecting them and I knew I wanted to make a quilt with them. And so finally it's been turned into a quilt. I'm gonna slide this here so you can see it a little bit better, but um, it's just a really neat project. I had so much fun working on it. The fabrics are, the border fabrics are a mix of Tilda fabrics. I also collect those because I think a lot of Tilda fabrics are so pretty. And I don't know, I just, this is such a pretty project. I enjoyed the process of collecting and then putting everything together it was just so much fun. And since making this, I've been a little bit nostalgic for not having these fun tea towels to collect anymore and kind of wishing I had something kind of similar to look forward to. And I found another shop with a whole nother batch of him tea towels. And so I'm going to show you those. I'm pretty excited about it. I've had them just waiting to show to you guys for so long because I knew some of you loved that him tea towel quilt just as much as I did. Maybe you are also making one. Maybe you have used Stephanie's panel fabrics to make something similar, but anyhow, let me pull this up here. Okay, so here is my box of goodies. Let's unpack some of this, a whole box. There are 25 different tea towels in this box. This shop offers the tea towels in small sets, just a, a group of, I don't know, four to six maybe, individually in larger groups. So when I stumbled across this, I don't even remember how I found it, if I was looking, if it was something that got advertised to me. But when I found it, I just went ahead and bought the largest set she had available at that time, which I think there's 25 here. So I think that must have been the biggest set that she had available. But I just went and looked before filming this video to see um, how she has things set up. And you can really purchase small amounts if you want to, bigger amounts if you want to. I think I saw one on there for 26 different, different him tea towels. So I'm gonna pull some of these out and show you how cool they are because it's really just that whole rainbow of colors like you saw that I did with my other quilt. And we're gonna open one of these too. I haven't opened one of them yet because I just think the packaging is so pretty. <laughs> so I wanted just to leave it just like it was. But um, there's that one. I just think the colors are so pretty. And I liked that it was different. Like it's still the hymns, but it's different than what I already have. I need a bigger table here to show you all of these different than what I have. And I think it's going to be so fun. All right. I'm going to sort of lay these out here. 
Let's see if we can show you most of them. Oh, there's some green ones that snuck in. I might just have to stack them up a little bit, but you'll get the idea. And you can see what colors they are, and then it says what the hymns are on the labels, which I thought was so nice. Mm, yep, you can kind of see those down there. So the name of this shop is Little Things Studio. I'll link to her below. These would make such nice Christmas gifts. So would Stephanie. Stephanie still sells her hymn tea towels over in her shop as well. So those make wonderful Christmas gifts as well. I'll link to her shop down there too. So you've got all the good information. Oh, that's looking kind of crookedy there. There we go, that's better. And then these last two. Okay, so that gives you kind of an idea. Set my box back down. Gives you an idea of sort of the colors and the assortment of tea towels that we're working with. And now we're gonna open one up. Oh, but before we do that, the reason I thought these labels also were especially neat, I'm gonna leave them packaged up like this as long as possible, is because you can take your, now not everyone probably has color cards just in their sewing studio, but quilt shops will have these color cards which show you the solids available from the different quilting manufacturers. So if you go to your local quilt shop, ask to see their Bella Solids color card, they would have something like this with little individual fabric samples of all of the different solids. And then you can just, use this to match. So I was thinking of doing something very similar to what I did with this. I'm gonna hold this guy back up again where I have the tea towel in the center and then bordered out with fabric. Only I was thinking of using solids for this one. So the tea towel in the center and then a border of fabric, solid fabric for that, that border. And because it has this little label, you could just easily hold it up to your solids and you'll know exactly the color that you want to use for your border. And I think that's so handy. You know, you just take your little green and oh, hey, look at that. Kelly looks pretty nice with that one <laughs> or whatever color you might land on. So I'm going to use those labels to choose the solids, which I think is handy. And all right, let's just go ahead and open one of these up. I haven't, as I said, done this, so I don't know. I'm gonna move some of these out of the way. I don't know what size blocks I'm gonna end up with, but I brought a ruler down because I thought, well, if I'm gonna open one of these up, I'm gonna at least mull things over a little bit in my head and see what I might want to do. So, little stacks over here. We'll just open up this pretty green one. Okay. Hopefully I can slide it back up as pretty as they were, but let's go ahead. Now I know these are bigger than I need. I'm gonna end up cutting quite a bit of the tea towel off, but here is what we're looking at. I think they are 28 by 28. This is 27 by 29. I don't know if they're all that same size, 27 by 29. 28 by 28, so all roughly that size. But really all I need is, you know, kind of this center motif. So I brought down this guy here. So this is a 14 and a half inch, which I think is the same size as I cut the other ones at, but they wouldn't have to be this big. So I could go down to 12 and a half by 12 and a half because 25, tea towels means we're going to be looking at five across by five down plus borders makes a pretty big quilt so I might go a little smaller right here is this would be the 14 and a half so let me slide this up there now you can see that better um, that would be 14 and a half if I did it like that but I could also do 12 and a half if I wanted to bring it in here, something like that. And then with the border, I would be looking at something smaller, <laughs> which would be nice with that many different blocks. So I might end up cutting these to 12 and a half inch squares and probably something. Let's see if I'd bring that 12 and a half down somewhere in here-ish. And this doesn't bother me having this not centered I think that's just fine, having that more towards the bottom portion of the block. And then you'd still get a really nice amount of that pretty little design all the way around. So something like that is what my plan would be. And I think that's gonna be fun to work on. Now, when I did my last 
tea towel quilt, the one that I shared with you, I fused some lightweight fusible interfacing to the back of my squares just to give it a little bit more body. This is a pretty lightweight fabric and so that gave it a little more body. So that is my hem tea towel quilt. Next project. I'm excited to work on that one. I think that would be a lot of fun. Oh, that's not nearly folded up very nice. See, it's never going to go back in that package again, is it? Maybe I can get it. Let's see what can happen here. You probably don't want to watch me fold this up. I might make Ryan just fast forward this little part. We'll get to the end and you'll be like, oh, wow, she got that folded up so beautifully. Let's see. Where's the next fold at? There. Uh, down like that. In there. In there. Mm -hmm. Oh, I think we might have got it. I think that's probably it. All right. Maybe. And... We did it, <laughs> back in the package, you'd never know. It can join its little friends, all tidy. Okay, so that is the last project that I wanted to share today, but I did mention about a giveaway and it's a good one. So I've been, I have a, an assistant, my sister is actually my new assistant and she has been helping me the last couple months. She does a lot of shipping for me. So if you have been ordering from my pattern shop, getting patterns or books, it very well could have been packaged by her. And the other thing that she's been helping is do some organizing in my sewing room. So last week when she was here, we came across this project, which I had kind of forgotten about, and I had every intention of finishing it, and really, it's in pretty good shape. I've done a lot of the piecing on it, but as we were going through things, I said, oh, I love this project, but I know I'm just not going to finish it, um, and I bet somebody else would really enjoy the fun of finishing it. I've done this a few other times on my channel where I have just given away some of my works in progress that I know I'm not going to get done. And so this one is going to be that way as well. And you can enter the giveaway. I'll just give it away to one of my readers over on my blog. All you have to do is go over there and leave a comment that you would like to enter the giveaway on today's blog post. I'll link to that below. I'll leave it open for probably a week or so. If you see giveaway closed over on my blog, you'll know that that has ended. But if it's not there, it's still open and you can go ahead and enter. So what am I giving away? We've got some blocks. These are all from a fig tree block of the month. I'm not sure what the name of this one was, but it's been, it's been a few years. A fig tree block of the month that I participated in. I'm gonna slide this over so I can spread some of these out. And it's a mix of her fabrics. Some of the blocks I have completed, but all of these, I pulled these out too because all of these little bins are kits for some blocks that still need to be done along with the instructions. And there's just a lot of really good, good stuff in these packages. Um, that's for some of the finishing. I don't know. Good stuff in there. Okay, I'm going to move these out of the way so that you can see some of these blocks better. All right, so all kinds. And if you know Fig Tree Fabrics, it's in her wonderful warm palette. And these blocks were a lot of fun to piece. I enjoyed piecing them. I just know I'm not going to get it finished. I just don't see any sense that it just sits on my, on my shelf, just sitting there. Someone can really take these blocks, finish it up and have a quilt that they will enjoy. And that makes more sense to me. So I'm going to move these on. What's this? A little spool block there. I mean, they're just so cute all kinds of things. And then at the bottom of this bin over here, let me get these out, but at the bottom, there's still a whole bunch of more fabrics, very usable fabrics. So you might even be able to get a whole nother project, maybe more than one project out of what's left over from this. But isn't that fun? Look at that block, so pretty. Okay. And then look, all of these fabrics. I mean, it's just a whole bunch. All kinds of goodness <laughs> in my little bin. So many things. So one person is going to get a whole box. 
of wonderful fig tree goodness. You're gonna get all these fabrics. You'll get the fabrics that I haven't used yet. All of the blocks, all of these things will go to one person. So if you're hopeful that that one person could be you, make sure and visit my blog. I've got the link down below so that you can find that blog post easily. Um, I think that's all I wanted to share with you today. Sometimes these chatty posts are kind of fun to share. And as I said, I realized it had been a while since I had shared one of these videos. So it was probably high time. Now, let's hope that I get those quilt tops out and that I can check those off of my list. I hope you guys are having fun with your works in progress too. If you aren't making any headway on those, that's just fine. I don't even worry about it when I don't make headway on some different things. It really just means that we have our focus and our attention somewhere else that needs it more than our, more than our quilting room needs it at that point in time. And that's just fine. So never beat yourself up about not getting things done as quickly or as fast or as efficiently as somebody else because we've all got so many different things going on in our lives that other people don't realize. And so that's just fine. Don't even worry about that. But that is what's going on over here. I thank you so much for stopping by and I'll catch you again next time.